Hi, Danny. Great to see you today. Um, just want to recap on some bits we worked on today. So swing on the left is we're using a high speed cam, which is why it's gone a little bit blurry, but uh, we can catch out a few moves. So front on, I thought you made a really good, the body works really, really well, low, nicely stacked, uh, loads of compression, if not too much compression, but so that's why I'm not going to send you any videos face on. But down the line, we, we saw quite a few things that we needed to do a little bit of work on. So first thing for me here is we can see the club face a little bit closed, which I quite like. Club goes a little bit inside here, but really as you start to turn away the arms for me just start to lift up a little bit higher so when we get to this point here instead of the arms going around the body they're just lifting so for me here I, that left arm is a little bit too high i like to see people's left arm cover their right shoulder and for me these these two elbows are just a little bit disconnected so the arms aren't quite matching the body so if we run that through what we worked on throughout the lesson this swing on the right You'll see here that the club yeah, it still goes a little bit inside, still a little bit closed. But you can look at the halfway back we run through here. We can see, Dan, look at the difference there between the left arm. It's definitely going a little bit more across your chest uh, opposed to straight up. So top of the backswing there, top of the backswing on a new swing is much better. A little bit shorter, which I like. Left arm's deeper, right elbow's tucked. That looks in a much easier position for you to uh, get it in a good position on the way down. As you start down and swing on the left, you'll see here, because you're so upright, the first move away is really that left arm is going to go away from you way too much. And we can see this now. And if that left arm goes away from you, unfortunately, the club is always going to work this way behind you and down. Um, so the club face there, we can see coming halfway down is, is never getting on that left, on that right forearm, sorry. Uh, so it's always a little bit above it. And then we get there, now we're sort of underneath it underneath underneath so it's all sort of in a recovery position and it looks like you're really trying to hit big draws or uh, sort of a block to the right unfortunately from there so the, the move we worked on from the top of the swing down halfway down was really i wanted to get you to feel that your left arm comes across your chest on the way down so i want your left arm to feel really really tight on the way down and look at this how much better this is left arm's very good there it's not on the money but it's very good left arm in an ideal world, I want to get it parallel with your feet. So it's a little bit out there still, but if you look at the swing over here, look at the difference there. It's massively uh, improved. And that gets the club on a slightly more shallow path, this swing on the right, which is good. Club cuts through the right forearm, but then it pulls in front better. We're only one frame behind now, so we're coming into a much stronger delivery position as opposed to uh, the swing on the left. So... That was another thing we worked on. So we got backswing left arm across the chest and we just felt the chest moved uh, more around rather than the arms going up. Left arm comes down tight across the chest. Okay. And then from there, I just asked you also to just do a bit of practice swing. I don't want you to think about it over the ball, but just to try and keep this right hip back. I'll send you some footage with Rose and a couple others in a minute, but uh, you need to get that the right hip to stay back as you start down and that's just going to get the arms in front a little bit more and tighter to the chest and just get everything a bit more in sync last thing we worked on Dan if we look at this swing on the left because you're in a poor position there you have to sort of flip it so as you come through here we can see here the club face is, is flipped rotary rotational wise sorry and if we look at this swing on the right this is where I got you to work on sort of an underneath release like you're pitching so the club face will never, ever rotate. So we look at it here, we've got tons of loft on it there. It's still a full release, but it's a, an underneath release rather than a rotational. And that just means that over time, when you get some confidence with it, you'll never, ever lose the ball to the left, which is great. And I actually want you to see the ball start slightly left and just cut back. Uh, as we started to see with driver and things, it was moving like a yard. So um, really, really good job, that. Dan, uh, I'll send you some footage of some tour players as well making the same moves, but I look forward to working with you in the future and good luck.